welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper and have a good time. Today, in this video, I'm going to be doing the warehouse box layout. This is the last one for this set of page kits that I've made earlier in the series. I will have that link below along with Miss Janet Madison, which is where I was inspired to do this series over the next few weeks, and wow. If you do not know who Janet Madison is, she is RTS Scrapbooking on both YouTube and Patreon, and I will have that link along with my series link, and anything else I speak of will be in that description button. So just click that little description button and you will see all those links. You can click them and they will take you right to where you wanna go. Um, Janet's series is on Patreon. If you do not follow her on Patreon, it's $1, $1 a month, that's it. And she is a wonderful mentor and teacher, and even though she doesn't consider herself that, I do, she is an amazing person. And with that said, I'm just going to get started. Okay, so Janet's using the current page maps for inspiration sketches. I am using April of 2019. Um, I'm not really sure which one I'm going to do right now. I'm leaning towards this one, the ones with the X's I've already done on or off camera. Um, but I, I'm leaning towards this one here. So we're just going to kind of this one here. I'm, we're just gonna kinda go and see where it leads us. So this, if you did my page kits with me, you know where all these papers came from, you know where this embellishment came from. And I pulled out a few more goodies to test out. These are from a current um, Love RTS swap that I just shared Happy Mail from. Y'all, I'm gonna attempt to do some Nouveau Crackle Mousse with <laughs> the stencil that I showed when I made page kits. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to figure it out together. <laughs> so I have that here along with a palette knife. So we'll, we'll just see. That'll be, I'm getting up like almost to touching my bathing suit in the water over here. <laughs> okay. So here's my photos. I have cut them and cropped them down to the way I want them to be. Um, I did cut the border strip off this because I think this um, cocoa vanilla is going to be my background. And then here are the two supporting papers that I have to go with that. Okay, I do not know what I'm going to do with those. So let's just kind of, I know I want this one as my background to do the mixed media on. Um, and then I, because I want to do this, I guess the next step is, I do have three photos, but mine are going to be different because I don't have them in the same size. So let me see, I see a vertical line when I look at this. So what if, now I'm just gonna do trial and error. There's no wrong way. This is just how I do my process. I just see if I like it and I go from there. Okay, I go with what I know I want and see how that works. Now I have quite a bit of journaling to do so I could make this an entire journaling area. I did pull out this journal block I had left over from one of the other pages I did that I didn't use. And then I pulled out these beautiful tags. I don't know if I wrote it by hand, I think I could fit it all on this tag, but I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. I also know for a fact that I want this beautiful embellishment on here. I do think I want to ink. I want to pull more black. So I think I'm going to ink these edges. Let's see how I feel about this before I 100% do it. Cause I can always add it, but once it's there, it's <laughs> it's gonna be there, right? Okay, I'm kinda liking that. Everything will be straight when I actually glue it down. Okay, so I'm kind of liking that. Now that I, I like this configuration, cause it'll just basically be a grid, right? If I put a journal block here, and I could even do a four by six journal block and then use this part for embellishments. So we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking, do I want the green? I don't think so. I think I want the brown to be a strip. So how would I, how big should I make that? Probably from the three to the, let me think about this here. Cause I do want it to stick out a little bit. So three to, let's see. So one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Yeah, let's make a six cut down the edge here. 
I'm just gonna cut this down to six and this has a leather feel. I picked this because Sugarfoot's um, harness, I believe that's this horse's name. Um, maybe not Sugarfoot. Maybe I'm watching too much Heartland. <laughs> watch that show. I love that show. Okay, so I think I want to do three quarters off the end because I still want to see this paper. So yeah, I should go this way. It's easier. Easier, easier. So that's a quarter. So there's, okay. So let's do, we can always take more off. Use that as a scrap. Now, what I'm thinking is right here. Okay, so let me take this picture off and this picture off. But this one, I want it to just poke through. None of this is permanent. Um, yeah, that was the perfect amount to cut off because see here, now if I ink these edges, they'll stand out a little more. So I'm liking that. And then we'll put this photo on here, right underneath this scallop. We'll put this one on here, right underneath that scallop. Might have to bring them down just a hair because we want about the same. And I'm just eyeballing it again when I put them down for real, for reals. I don't want that covering the whole horse. Although it wouldn't hurt it because we have, it's all the horse, right? We, we get the picture of the horse. This horse is so old. Well, at that time, she's no longer with us. But from the time that my oldest children were babies, this horse was adopted. And it literally had seen every single one of my kids, except for the baby, except for Junior. So I think that is pretty cool, pretty cool that a horse lived that long and every single one of them rode that horse. Um, let's see here. So let me look at the sketch again. Being inspired by this sketch, I do, I do want a block here. So I think my, I'm asking myself in my head right now, do I want to put a journaling block here or should I do some stenciling? So maybe if I do some stenciling over here, this whole area, right? And some over here and up here. So where's my pencil? So I don't want to go above and I'm making a very light mark here and maybe not past there. Same thing over here, here to like there, and then here to the top. I'm like, well, I don't wanna go past here. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm scared y'all. All right, I have that part figured out. So I'm gonna leave this this way, set it over here to the side. I'm gonna set this to the side. <laughs> and it really doesn't matter how far I go in there because once it dries, I can just put that paper on it. Now I've watched some videos on this crack a and so I'm gonna have to do it and then I'll have to pause the video and wait. I think they said 15 to 30 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is it scares me. That's what I know for a fact. All right, so let's see, where is that? So this mark here, to that mark. <laughs> this is so scary. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna get a piece of wax paper to set my knife on in case I wanna set it down. And I think I'm gonna washi tape this. I mean, I'm no expert at this, but that to me makes a little bit of sense to washi tape it down. And I'm not using real sticky washi, just some washi. Okay. <laughs> All right, for you girls that are scared of that mixed media, we're going to do it. <laughs> so I want to get this butterfly. Um, so I want it to start here. I see my mark to up here. So we'll just kind of do this section. Let's do a little bit. Now I see people, when this dries, it crackles a little and it's a little shiny. I don't know. They kind of play with it and mix it up a little. I've watched like two hours of videos on this. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm not going to do it super thick. I'm not. I don't have that much patience. The thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry. <laughs> I don't even want to do this. Okay. I do. I'm going to do it. All right. It's done. Okay. Oh, actually, 
actually, that's not that hard. Okay, so get up here. Oh gosh, maybe I should have typed it at the top. It's a little scary. I think it's probably easier if you do it thicker, but I don't, I don't want it thick. Right? Like, I don't... Oh gosh. I don't know. I think I wiped it all off. Okay. I want to get a little bit in there. Okay. There. <laughs> I don't know if all this is going to go. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Okay. It's not horrible. Not horrible. Oh, that's my pencil mark. Okay. All right. Is that a little? Okay, it is. You know, should I got a little baby wipe or something? Oh, because it wipes right off. Okay, that's not, it wipes off pretty easy. All right. Let's see what happens over here. I don't think I want that section. So hold on. Let me, I think I want to change it. Oh my God. <sighs> Y'all, if you only knew like my stress level. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna attempt to wipe this off a little bit just cause I don't wanna get it everywhere. I'm just taking a baby wipe. Supposedly, it's super easy to clean up. I don't know. Like, it, it's not it's not sticky. I, it's not like paint. It's different. I'm gonna say that. Okay, I am gonna tape it more cause I think that's why it moved. That's on me though, right? Inexperience, but it'll get better. Okay, it's fairly cleaned off. So let me set this down and wipe off my fingers. I got some on my fingers. Okay, so now let's see here. Here to, I'm gonna move it over. I would really like to go like this, but I'm afraid there might be some on here. I mean, I guess I could just wipe it off if there is, right? Okay, here's my mark. Here's my mark. We're gonna go this way. Wait, where's the mark? Okay, so from, Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I might go up just a hair. Okay. There's that. Tape. What do I do with tape? I'm going to tape it a little better. Try not to get it on this stencil. Okay. I'm feeling better about that. I don't know if it matters, but I'm feeling better. Okay. Let's just, let's just do it. Suck it up, Ginger. Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> okay, I have to tell you, this is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. This is actually, this is actually kind of fun. Have you ever like, um, oh yeah, this is fun. Oh, I like this better than the sprays. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. I wish I would have done this first. Maybe I wouldn't be so, this is cool. What was I gonna say? If you've ever like, um, I don't know, painted a mural like for one of your kids. Now I'm doing it really thin. I don't want it thick. Like I said, I don't have patience for that dry time. I don't, and I know that. So with all the videos that I watched, they basically said not to do it thick. There's some people that just like do a swash of this on their paper, like, and I thought about doing, but then I was like, yeah, yeah, but there's already a bunch of those, right? So, oh, and I still have this whole area over here. Okay. I'm scared I'm gonna get it on the paper, which I guess it's probably, it wipes up so easy, I don't think it'll matter that much. Okay. All right, so I got the hang of it. You guys have seen me kind of do it. I'm gonna pause the video and I will come back after it's done well, it's dry and I've done, I'm gonna do this section, finish this section, and then we'll put the base down. Yeah, and I'll be back. You guys, okay. so I have all of the stenciling done. I'm gonna let it dry and then I will come back. When I come back, I'll have the base page done. I'll put the brown strip and I'll have everything temporary down. So I will be back. It actually, look, it looks pretty cool. It's supposed to like crackle like old vintage -y kind of thing. I did have a little boo-boo up here, which I wonder if it's still wet enough. Yeah, see, it's not, it's too dry. And it cleaned right off my stencil. It was easy to clean up. 
So we'll see what happens. Crossing my fingers. I actually, this is fun. I like this. Okay, so I'll be back. So I have the base down. It's um 98% dry. There's a couple little spots because this is the last area I did. If you look, it is crackling. I don't know if you can tell, but it is starting to crackle. So I'm sure if I waited like another 10 minutes, not a patient woman, not, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get stuff done. Okay, so now I am not sure it, here's what I liked. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. It was actually fun. Like the texture of it is really fun. It still warps the paper, but I knew that in watch, watching the videos. And really, when you get it in a page protector and the weight of the rest of the pages, I'm sure straighten it out. So there's that. I don't think it works as bad as the sprays. That's my two cents. Um, it was fun. <laughs> like, I, I actually like this. I'm not going to lie. And it is so pretty. It is so gorgeous. When I have it all glued down, you guys see the close-ups. Just, you see the little details and the little crackling. Now, you can buy it that doesn't crack. It just is shiny. And I just didn't want that. I wanted something else. And I think it made a busy paper to me not so busy. I don't know how that's even possible, but to me, that's what happened. Okay, I'm just rambling. All right, so I have some goodies. I have a butterfly. I have some tags. I have some flowers. There's, there's some flowers on the back. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking these are too green. I mean, there is this color in there and it does match. So I stayed with peak pink teals, that whole thing. I don't know where it's gonna go, but right now that's where I'm at. So, um, I do have some flowers in here too. There's some of these peach flowers that I have that I pulled out. Oh my gosh, is it dry enough? Oh, it is, okay. So, let's see, I thought there were more than just three. There is, and look, here this says cheerful day. I think this was Deb's. Could maybe put this up on something, I don't know. We'll see, what if I put it in this circle? I mean, I know this says epic and it was left over from yesterday, but I kind of like that. Hmm, huh, maybe. I could cover up the epic. That would mimic and it would also bring these different colors that's in MK's um, embellishment. If you watched me do the page kits and you don't know what I'm talking about when I say MK, these page kits, I had a bunch of embellishments from her and I tried to incorporate one or two embellishments in every single page kit. So definitely um, check out that and it'll explain it more. Now I like this. What if we, I don't know. I, I need to figure out this corner, don't I? So I could do this one. Ooh, ooh, I could do this, look. This would bring in some more of the green turquoise. And this is the adrenaline block I have left over. What if I were to put that right there? But it covers up all of that pretty I did. But that's okay. I mean, you can still see it peeking through. And I was learning, and honestly, I messed up down here when I, I should have lined it up and I didn't. So I'm okay with that. And this is the first time I did it. So like I went too far on the edge here. I wish I would have done it's not that I did too far. I like it on the edge. I wish I would have went up top. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I do. Like this, this is cool. I like that. Okay, so then I could have this here, right? Just kind of set some things down. I thought there was another, there is, look. There's this. So Deb had sent me a whole bunch of ephemera like I paid for the shipping and she donated all these extras and I kept a few of them. Ugh, they're just gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I actually have some I'm going to give away in my scraps to embellishments here this next week. Um, so definitely watch for that. Like it's a lot of embellishments. Um, I could tuck these. I don't know. I'm, it's cold feeling, so I'm scared it's wet. <laughs> I just snorted it. Ginger, hmm. you're such a fun little duck. I am a fun little duck. Okay, so I, I 
could do this. What if I did this? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I like that either. I don't know about all that. I like the flower. I mean, you got all these different peaches and golds and this definitely matches. So she has a little flower in here. I could add to it, maybe? I don't know, y'all. And there is a butterfly there. So what if I were to go like that? Oh, I don't mind that. Okay, I would ink it and put it on foam for sure. If I had it up on foam like that, give it a little bit more dimension. I think only parts of it would have to be on foam. That I could probably just glue. I like that. Okay, so there's that. I'm kind of liking this, but I'm not 100% sure. I could, could I? I don't know. Should I? I? I'm loving the journaling block. Like I'm doing that for sure. I will put that there right here. I will put the year. I just, I don't know. The texture does so much. I don't want to do so much that I take away from it. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'm thinking, what? I, I don't know. I really want to use this. <laughs> you ever just really want to use something? What if I were to stick this down there? And I mean, I know a lot of it would be hidden, but like that. And then to bring that color over here, I could just put this maybe here. Ink everything. Like this would have to be inked, but it would stand out more. I do like that. And then maybe tuck some of these in or around. Have some, let's see, that would be five. There's four, five. So I could do that there. And I could tuck this down there. That's a vellum flower there. So that would be one, two, three. Maybe this is what needs to go. I don't know, something else there? Mm. <laughs> I could just do three here. Have this go there. All this will be ink, so it will stand up a little bit better. That one would have to go on foam. This one, we could tuck it in here. Okay. Okay, so I'm liking that. All that will be inked, the butterfly will be inked. That's just a little pop of color, totally okay with that. I mean, I would scoot everything so you could still see good day. And this says, oh, happy day, which I like that. Hmm, no, this one's too. I mean, it, it does matches, but mm, I don't know. See, I kind of like this too, but I'm loving that. How could I make this work? Because it's, it's mimicking the circles. Although you really don't see the circles, but you do. Because this is a burlap. That's a ginormous button. It's cute, though. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should have something else. No. I mean, I could go like this instead. Is this... Oh, it's not stuck on there. Good. I could maybe move it. Go like this. Okay, what if I moved it just a hair like that? I left that like that and I went like this. Oh, see, I like that. That's okay. Bring it down just a little so that the head is not covering Jilly Joe. And this has butterflies in it. See how it's really starting to crackle? It's so cool. It is cool. As it dries more though, it is bending my paper. But I, it's so neat, like I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. I truly am. Oh goodness, that's I'm shocked by that. Do I wanna pop some more in? I'm trying to think here. It's hurting my brain. <laughs> I could take this and bring, I just feel like I need to bring this color more. What if I layered this? Like, oh, see, that's even better. 
Then I'm covering up the butterfly a little. There we go. Oh yeah, okay, I like that. I do. And see, we've, we're, I'm trying to incorporate these teals, right? All these different green, tealy colors. Definitely done a good job here. Doing a good job here. And it's got different tones. I think it just pulls it all together. And then I can do some black enamel dots around. And I think that'll help. Okay, I'm going to go glue it down. Cross your fingers. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Y'all, I got it all glued down. It's, it's pretty. Like, this is so pretty. So, I don't know if you can see, but it has, like, I'm going to go like this, like a sheen to it. If you look closely right here, you can see the sheen to it. And it definitely has a crackling texture. It It's pretty. So far of mixed media, this crackling paste, it, it's my favorite. <laughs> I got it on um, scrapbook.com. And um, I'll try, I'll find the link and I'll, I'll put it below. It's just the Nouveau Crackle Mousse. That's what it's called, not cream. So fun, so fun. I inked the butterfly, I inked the flowers. I put big, huge enamel dots inside the middle of these flowers. And then I just scattered some enamel dots around. I'm trying to use up these Gina Marie. You probably still saw some glue on that one. Um, they're just big. I like them, but they're ginormous. So, um, yeah. Definitely, it's just so cool. I mean, look, I can just keep looking at this. It's just so neat. I don't know if you can see it, but I hope it shows up on film. I can't see right now, but I will when I edit. Okay, so just like that, um, the next video in this series will be more page kits from the next collection, and I will do a layout share that will include the other, I think I have four other layouts, with this. So I don't know if I will get that tomorrow or the next day, but it is coming. And with that, I hope you like and subscribe. I hope you have fun. I hope you smiled. I hope you're going to try mixed media with me. And most of all, I hope you have a very, very blessed day. <laughs> Bye.